First things first, shut off that boiler. Let's take off this old Honeywell. This just pops off. There's two screws, one here and one right in there. We're gonna use the beautiful nest tool for this. Yeah, oh yeah. All right, so that's done. You shouldn't throw this away because this contains mercury. So check with your city how to pro properly dispose of mercury. Next, let's undo these two wires here. Try to make sure that this cable doesn't fall behind the wall. Use a piece of tape. Take off this old plate. Now this is of course a really old style thermostat. These two wires are literally the only thing that are needed to turn this furnace on. Was there's a little coil spring here and when the temperature reaches a certain set point, you know, this is a spring which compresses and contracts depending on the temperature, it tips. It tips the mercury such that it shorts these two wires out, this, the very same ones that are here. When they get shorted, that's like an on switch and it turns the boiler on. Very simple. What we've got on these wires is 20, usually 24 volts AC. All right, now based on what you've got here, whether you think you need to attach that big plate or not, that depends on how much you need to cover up. In my case, I don't think there's a whole lot to cover up. I've got this backing plate here. Let's see if it covers this up pretty nicely. Yeah, I think so. All right, now for wiring. All we need is to put one wire to RH, just push it in, it's kind of like a cage clamp, and connect it, connect the other wire to W1. I don't think it matters which goes where. Let's be good boys and girls so we don't have any exposed copper there. I'm just gonna... Scissors. Not a wire cutter. Okay. There. What a clean look. Alright, now let's take those two beautiful screws that they provide us with. I mean, seriously, look at these. These are gorgeous screws. And how nice of them to provide a level. Oh, these are Phillips. But wait, let's use our wonderful Nest screwdriver. Oh! Boom! I didn't need to go to the toolbox. Nest got me covered. Thanks, Nest. I'm gonna do my best to center it. I just start screwing. At this point, we do our best to use this level here. All right. Let's put this thing on. Da 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 da. Oh yeah. There it is. I'm gonna go flip that switch burner on. I got a green light. It's in German because I was just testing it out earlier to make sure I don't make myself look like an idiot, but unfortunately I screwed up the language. Here we go. English. Yeah. Internets. Ooh, password. Yeah. I gotta say, this is like, oh my god, this is the most beautiful UI experience I've ever experienced. That's right. Na, 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 na. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear it. My boiler just turned on. Beautiful. Yep, just turned off. <laughs> that is so beautiful. I love the ring. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Simply fantastic. Well, that's how you... Yeah. So that's how you install a Nest if you have a two-wire system. Now, be cautious. If your old thermostat or what have you has like a high voltage symbol and you pull it off and you see like really thick wires, chances are those are high voltage 120 volt wires. So tread carefully and this video is not for you. This is not the instruction video for you. So I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell button.